by the way, if you think my musings are really great um, and should be seen by other people, you know, to expand their consciousness, please hit the like button uh, on my videos. Um, I don't like begging for likes and shares, but maybe if I explain it, it'll make more sense for you. YouTube determines uh, who to show my videos to depending on the audience and on the like status. If nobody likes my videos, the algorithm is not going to push my videos out to be seen. So, so again, if you actually resonate with these thoughts, with these musings, and you think um, it's a great message and more people should see it, please hit the like button. Please. Thank you so much. And uh, let's get the word out. I got stung by wasps. Ah, oh, and here I thought there is no insects around. Don't be fooled. <laughs> Anyways, as I'm riding around on my lawnmower here, um, this thought keeps coming to me um, from a post that I read from a Facebook friend. And if you happen to watch this, please don't get offended. I just want to um, articulate the feelings uh, that I am observing in my mind and the dance between the consciousnesses, the subconscious and the uh, the feeling part and the rational part between my two brains. You keep using the phrase, all glory to God, all glory be to God. And I made a, a brief remark of why you keep saying that. And when you say that, where exactly is your mind? What is your mind doing? In my mind, as I observe these words flow through my mental space and psychic space, um, I can observe literally my two brain hemispheres dividing themselves. When I say all glory to God, the wall of partition comes back up because if all glory goes to whatever God is, it separates it from wherever the glory is not going. Do you see what I'm saying? So if all glory goes into one place, that means there's no glory for the rest of it. And I did say, um, I tried to correct you in saying all glory to you <laughs> because you are God embodied. So in my mind, if I direct it external of myself, away from myself, because you probably weren't thinking about yourself when you said all glory to God, you were putting yourself as something lesser. And that is the subtle distinction of the conscious and subconscious mind. That's, those are the subtle distinctions that our left brain will create. And that then becomes the expression of all glory be to God, who allowed you to do this, what you're engaged in presently. No, God did not allow you to do this. God is having the adventure of doing it. God is the participant. He didn't allow you to do it. God very much participates in everything that you're doing as you. That's my consciousness. I just thought I would share that angle in case you hadn't been aware of that before. Um... I find that's a beautiful consciousness and can release one more layer of separation. Oh, that eye really does hurt.
I put some raw onion on it to soothe it a little bit. I have to go back to those wasps because I left my push mower there and ran. So hopefully in an hour they'll be settled down and won't notice me sneaking up on them.